What's up, guys? John here with Big Drew, Titan Lifestyle. What's up, guys? It's Friday. It's Titan Lifestyle. I'm Big Drew here with John. I'm ready to get going right to these great topics we got. And let's go. Yeah, so we've got a lot of great topics. And obviously, listen, we're in October. And, you know, I don't think we've even mentioned it yet. I think we should. Yeah. Um, October is obviously Breast Cancer Awareness Month, too, as well. Very important. And it affects a lot of people, a lot of females and, and males out there. So at that point, we want to give a big shout out for breast cancer awareness. Um, make sure that, you know, anybody that's dealing with that, you know, our prayers are with you. Um, anybody that has a family member that's going through that knows what it's about. Sharice has had has on both sides of her family or had it. So at that point, she knows exactly uh, what it feels like. So all the people out there, a big shout out. So if you wear pink, awesome. Support the cause. All right. So we've got a great show for you guys. Obviously, we're going to talk about the therapy of the week, which I know Big Drew, I think, likes a lot. It's MK677. MK677, the closest thing to oral growth hormone. If yes. not, I mean, if anybody out there knows anything about HDH or human growth hormone and know how expensive it is and how, know how effective it is and this and that, um, MK67 pretty much is doing the same thing, but it's an oral form. You don't have to inject it, and the side effects are pretty much next to nothing other than you're going to be a little bit more hungry. Right. So uh, I would much rather go with MK677, even if it is the most expensive, best growth hormone out there. I would still rather go with that MK677 because I'm not going to have the problems that growth right. hormone can sometimes give people. That's correct. People don't realize growth hormone is known as, you know, in the bodybuilding world, it's growth, growth is the biggest thing. Yeah, it, it may be a lot of people use it, but you could have problems. Yes, it is. You could have things that happen where, you know, you can't get that back. Your hands could grow. I mean, yes. you know, I've known people personally that's feet have gone from a size 12 to a 15 <laughs> over the course of 10 to 15 years taking growth hormone. Yeah. So, I mean, you got to be careful out there. But MK677 is definitely the way to go for me. Helps me eat, helps me train, helps me recover. And uh, it actually helps me gain lean mass. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing I can really take um, that's going to give me that lean mass where I don't have to worry about my waistline mm -hmm. so much. Cuts, not so much. I mean, I may hold a little bit more water, but um, nothing that, you know, other people would notice. Right. You know, me that I see in the mirror. Right. I love MK677. So, MK677 is awesome, right? Uh, Ibutamorin is what it is. So it's a GHRH, a growth releasing hormone. Uh, it's a peptide. It's not a SARM. That was originally what it was categorized. I've seen that on the net and stuff like that. It's like androgen receptor modulator. It is not that. Um, but the way it works is pretty cool. It stimulates the pituitary. Um, it stimulates the hunger hormone like Drew was talking right. about. So you will get hungry on this version. Um, and what it does is it stimulates the pituitary to produce your own natural growth hormone and raise IGF-1 levels, which you get all the benefits from growth hormone with IGF-1. Mm. Um, you know, as far as skin elasticity, libido, uh, anti-aging effects, uh, recovery properties, um, all these different things, even mood enhancement, stuff like that. So these levels being uh, a little bit higher or elevated can help in a number of different ways. And with using MK677, it's good for putting lean body mass on, yeah. you know, as far as that goes. Um, it, quality, quality gains. Qu quality there's, gains. There's plenty of things you could take Sleep. out there that'll make you gain weight. You know, I know, you know, even old school creatine when people front load and take a lot of creatine and you have kidney problems. But that's a whole nother show. But um, it's it's quality weight. Yeah. If a lot of times people Clean out mess. there they just look at the scale yeah. or they you know try to gain inches. You can gain inches and have those inches not be quality or have weight not be quality. I noticed with MK, it's, it's actually a quality weight. Yeah. So a lot of times people say, oh, I can just go eat. You know, fast food and ice cream all day and gain weight, but it's not going to be the quality that you're going to get with the MK. No, no. So, you know, it's all about lean body mass, right? And not even weight per se, but, um, you know, when you're putting on lean quality mass, you're going to look a lot better. You know, you're not going to get maybe huge, but you will be leaner, right? Because you're getting rid of body fat, and that's what we want to do, you know, essentially. And the more muscle you have, the more body fat you're going to burn. I mean, it is what it is. So this will actually help with sleep, too. So a lot of people have problems sleeping. Where sleeping is another pillar of a foundation of you know a good healthy lifestyle. Mm. So at that point, when you're sleeping, you're healing better. The deeper the sleep, the better mm. you're gonna feel the next day. More refreshed, more wake up, more you know in tune to what's going on. Right. And a lot of people don't like the injections. So CJC twelve ninety five. That's a, an injectable GHRH um, that we use or Semarellin. And at that point, some people don't want to inject themselves every night, mm. or you know, and they're just like, this isn't for me. 
where MK677 can give you guys the exact same benefits. Um, you know, the only difference is, is MK677 is really going to stimulate the hunger hormone. Where CJC 1295 and Semarillin usually don't stimulate um, that hunger effect as much. So that's really, you know, I, I think that's really the big difference. But everybody that takes MK677 is definitely, uh, they love it pretty much, you know. It's, it's really, really good. And like you said, that's a great, um, you know, it's a great substitute as far as not having to pay for growth hormone at the expensive price that it is. Right. Uh, it's hard to prescribe, so we don't even prescribe it here at Titan Medical Center because the DA looks down on it. Um, they don't want it done for any anti-aging effects, any sports, any nothing, unless you have like dwarfism or right. uh, deficiency disorder of growth hormone. You know, there's and those are pretty in that test. So at that point, this is the best thing next to it. Plus, you're not going to get the negative side effects if you take growth hormone for too long. Sometimes you become type, you know, diabetic pretty much, where you're going to need insulin and stuff. Um, you shut down your natural function of growth hormone production. That's another big thing that you know that could happen to you. So. This is definitely the way to go. If you guys are thinking about, you know, helping IGF-1 levels, and you probably should, so you should blood test and see where you guys are gonna do this at. Um, and this therapy and all the other therapies like blood work or hormone replacement therapy or anything else we do, you guys can call or text 727-389-3220 and we can help you out. We service nationwide for you guys. All right, since uh, we talked about that one, which is awesome, good therapy to talk about, let's get into the first topic. First topic is snow is coming to Florida, and I don't mean the weather channel. Oh, yeah. Um, Florida's opening a snow park. I guess it's going to be opening next month. It's yep. going to be a big tubing hill. Yep. Uh, for people, I mean, I'm from New England, so I know what tubing is. Right? <laughs> um, if you guys don't know what tubing is, it's like a, it's basically just like a big tube. Yeah, well, you can you tube, I guess, on it. water in here. Yeah, you yeah. can, the same tubes yeah, you guys yeah, would yeah. sit on in the pool. For sure. Just sit on and slide down in the snow. I yeah, mean, it's, it's awesome. pretty much just like a sled it's sledding awesome. on a tube. But they're gonna open up a 400 foot, which is like a little bit longer than a football field, about the size of a football field with the end zones. Yeah. And it's gonna be like a trail where you could just and a ski lift yep. brings you up. You yep. have to walk up. Yeah. And you just tube down. It's so, so I mean, cool. It's like a 60 foot, 60 foot uh, inlet or something. It's so cool. Um, I'm hoping it catches on. They do more of them. This kind of looks like a. I mean, this is for people awesome. that are in Florida, this is a big deal. This is awesome. But for me, it's like a like regular hill that we used to slit on when we were yeah. kids. Yeah. Like me it doesn't too. look like it has that much of a slant to it, me but it's too. gonna be a huge deal. After, it's, it's a huge deal for here. I'm gonna know? go. Um, you know, me being from up north too, like you, Midwest. 21 years so i grew up in the snow i grew up tubing uh we used to find like down the highways like you've been parking beside the, the highways and go down there yeah, yeah, up yeah there, right yeah, it's yeah. crazy they, they have like the things. little and they had the uh when the plows yeah when plow all the snow <laughs> pushes to the side of the street so at the end of the at the end of, you had to jump into the <laughs> middle of the street and you had to wait for someone <laughs> on the street because the, the bank would be like your jump Crazy, crazy. Yeah, 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 crazy. So, you know, at There's that no point, hills over here. yeah, they had sleds. You know, we used to go sledding and stuff like that down those hills. Yeah. But, you know, here in Florida, obviously, we're in the, you know, tropical conditions here where and we have, got, they I mean, have to make a hill. Oh, no, it's, dude, it's like, it's like, it's a huge hill. It's what? It's, uh, it looks like they're making a hill. It's like 600 like feet high or something like that. 60, 60 feet, 400, 400 feet, feet long. long. So, feet high. wow. We got promo codes. Huge, right huge. 10% off. So yeah, so this is this is like I'm gonna go check this is it out. real close to Tampa, know. so we're definitely gonna go. Maybe we can get some footage and show you guys. Yeah. Who knows? The Titan tubes. Yeah, you know we're, we're good to Team Titan tubing. Yeah. Team Titan tubing. I like that. Team Titan tubing on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see. But if you guys live around here, this is gonna be really cool. Uh, the last time I seen snow in Florida, as far as this goes, was like Bush Gardens used to do like they do like a winter wonderland thing, and they used to have snow. I remember when Peter was growing up, like in his first couple of years, like four or five, um, we used to go there and be able to make snowballs so we knew what snow was. Yeah. But now they don't have it. So this is going to be the next best thing for sure. It's going to be good for people that, you know, have never seen snow that have been in Florida. Yes. Some people don't have the, the means to go yes. and just travel and, you know, yes. go to Colorado or, you know, Vermont yeah. or whatever. Even up so north during the winter. Yeah. I mean, you know? yeah, it's going to be good to, for people to actually see snow. I'm interested to see the texture of the snow. Yeah. Because people down here, they think anything that's ice is snow. They yeah. see like a flurry. They're like, oh, it's snow. Snow has different types. Some Absolutely. you can snowball. Some you can't pack into a snowball. It's yeah. dry. It's wet. It's heavy. Yeah. It's light. Fluffy, so yeah. I want to know what kind of snow they're going to use. If it's going to be snow where you can compact the snowball, best believe there'll be snowball fights up there. Oh, wow. So we have an HRT provider on. Monica. How you doing, Monica? Nurse nice. practitioner. So, Monica, we're talking about our lifestyle stuff today, but we did talk about MK677, Ibutamorin. I don't know if you provide that therapy for your patients or anything like that. 
Uh, we definitely do, um, but it's a, it's a good one. So next one, FDA approves emergency use drug for COVID-19. So we were getting into this and basically since this whole COVID thing has came about, there's been multiple things out there that said, you know, they got emergency use and then got pulled back. Rendezivir has been around for a long time and they use this and they've actually said this is going to shorten the time span for patients, you know, getting their sickness and symptoms. So at this point, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I know somebody personally here in Tampa, Florida that got rendezivir. Um, and this was back probably like two or three months ago. And right now it's become more readily available, but before it wasn't that readily available. But I know that Florida, we had enough here and uh, the guy actually got it. And, and what he told me was, was he said, I was getting sicker by the day. Like I felt myself like going right, mm. and then they told me like, hey, uh, you know, we have this this other you know special treatment, rendezivir, and uh, you know if, if things get you know any worse or whatever. And he's like, he basically told me he's like, it, it is worse. This is it, and he started throwing a fit basically. Mm. And they gave him rendezivir, and then he basically he got better. Mm. He got better. How, how, how is it administered? Tablet, so IV, IV, IV. So you know we're, we're going to see. Hopefully, you know this will help a lot of people out there. There's other things that are working on therapeutics, these vaccines, um, and stuff like that, which, you know, who knows? Now, to add a little bit of, you know, a little spin on this, so I caught COVID-19, totally asymptomatic. Um, and at that point, I've been testing every month. I caught this in June. I was clear, like, July 1st. Tested every month for antibodies, me and Cherise. And at this point, I've had antibodies, and then I tested a week ago, no antibodies. Hmm. So now I'm scared. Like, do I get COVID-19 again? Is this going to happen again to me? You know, am I going to get it? And is it going to get worse? You know, these are things that you have to worry about out there. You know, some people think that COVID-19 is a joke or it's not really around. And I understand that because I was talking to another patient yesterday. I caught it. Good friend. And he's told me, you know, I caught COVID-19. Basically, I was sick for one day and then poof, gone. So he was like, you know, basically, I, I, I'm like, you know, I, I don't really think, you know, you know this thing is that yeah. serious. You know, it's, it's, it's hard, you know. Some people do, and some people are getting really sick, and some people aren't. So, I don't know. Hopefully, this will help. That's yeah. what I really wanted to do, you know, rendezivir. So, IV administration, um, it's been around for a while, even before COVID-19. They were trying to use it on, in different things, you know, like viruses and stuff like that. So, antivirals, um, that's really what it is. Any problems with it, though? No. no so, problem. there hasn't been any problems with rendezivir. So, hopefully... Uh, that's good. You know, yeah, it's 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 been it's been used and utilized, and now, basically, what happened was was you know our government took up a big share of the dosages, and uh, now the company has been able to open up shares to the around the world too as well, hmm. which is really cool. I mean, we want to get everybody. Everybody's like crazy out there. Like, you know, our country is is messed up and shuttered in some places, yeah. right? But other countries like in Europe and stuff like that, if you guys don't pay attention to that stuff, it's just crazy. Like. They're going to shut down in some of these places again. Yeah, it's, it's turning back up where all the it's, closing it's, gyms it's are starting to close. It's turning back up, man. It's turning back up. So, yeah. you know, uh, who, who, this is crazy. Like, we don't want this to happen to us again for sure. And if we do, or people get sick. Now, the other thing was, was, I mean, basically the cost, the dose of this um, is actually gone up from what it was originally. So I, I think it's supply and demand here and kind of what they're making money from which is kind of messed up, but I guess it's a business and it is what it is. You're going to pay for it if you want the the, the treatment, the therapeutic, I guess. Mm. So, Or you can wait for the vaccine. Who knows? I don't know if I'm uh, going to get the vaccine. I'll, I'll, I'm, going to, I'm going to treat it like an iPhone update. I'm going to wait a little bit <laughs> and see how everybody else handles it, and then I'll do it. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, at this point, you know, I, I, it is what it is. I guess I'll have to wear a mask or, or whatever it is while I'm around people and, and just try to be safe as possible. Yeah. So who knows? Who if The immune function, you know, the T-cells, they might come out too. You don't know. Even after antibodies leave, mm. your immune system can still, you know, combat things. So it's we'll interesting. See. It's just interesting. It is. All the different drugs and all the different medicines they can come up with. I mean, it's I'm crazy. sure there's something out there right now that they have, you know, one little drop of it will fix someone but like the the, the research and all that is interesting it, you know, know and it's got to lead them to other like therapeutics or possibly other cures or something yeah or yeah. antivirals like for like yeah. hiv or something like that yeah, now yeah, like yeah. i mean how many years have we had hiv and how many millions or billions of dollars has exactly. went to research yeah. for hiv and then you see i mean 
I don't know. I mean, come on. We need some Operation Warp Speed to, to eradicate some of these different things that we should be able to, hopefully, at this yeah. point. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I love I love the new medicine, the new... Uh, so do I. I just don't want to be the guinea pig. <laughs> I don't want to be the guinea pig. <laughs> the innovativeness. It's no, crazy out no. there. All right, so yeah. outfielder fools everybody. Fools everybody. Did you see it? Did you I watch? did. Yeah, it was, did. It was kind of crazy. Basically, the guy hit a home, a guy hit a home run. Uh, the outfielder was tracking the ball, went right. back, jumped up, yep. leaped over the fence, yep. went to go for the ball, yep. and then afterwards came down. He was kind of sulking. He didn't catch yep. it. He's walking with his hand yep. down. Come to find out, he, he next thing you know, he lifts up his glove. Yep. He had the ball in there. So he pretended like the ball went over and got the home run. And then the guy running the base was all excited yep. to caution. Yep. And yep. then he was like, hold on, and showed like the rep. The he was like, hold on, I got the <laughs> You're ball. You're out. I've never seen that happen in <laughs> baseball. I've been watching baseball like pretty much my whole life. I've never seen that happen, but yeah. I like it. It's kind of like you know, like a little joke. I've never oh seen yeah, that happen this guy's like showboat. Oh, he's so like, sad. yeah, he's like looking <laughs> sad and everything, and then boom, oh, this guy's like, yeah, run. yeah, he even let the guy run. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, there's yeah, the ball. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Taiwanese. Yeah. He ran the whole baseline and didn't even. He ran the whole thing. He he's really like, thought yes, he had it. He yes, was cheering he's and everything. He's like, yeah, I got a home run. No, you're out. No, you're out. And if you look at the score of the game, if you look at the score of the game. That would have been that would have been oh, a big yeah. that would have been a big deal. Oh yeah, like, it, was, that would have, it was two two, and that would have made yeah, it three two. Yeah, that would have made it. That would have, so that was wow. Yeah, that was that's crazy, right? I've never seen that happen before. So that's cool. I that you know, crazy. especially right now, like sports. I mean, you, you I miss that. Like yeah. just like you know, like it's just it, it's the game, man. It's just yeah. there's no politics involved. There's no there's no garbage. You know, just yeah. dudes clowning, having a good time, playing the ball. It's it's yeah. awesome. It's awesome to see. Uh, all right, so the next one. Kid arrested for truancy. All right, so this was kind of crazy when I read this story. All right, so this seventh grader, basically in California, okay, um, he was he's been late for his Zoom classes for his in school Zoom classes, in school Zoom classes, and at that point, the, you know, they basically sent a letter saying that you know that they could be arrested or fined, or the dad could be jailed. Um, because now the kid is, because he hasn't had an excuse for the 30 minutes delay or whatever it was, mm. that he's now considered truant. So they can have the officers go out there and, and get the kid, whatever it is, which is really just messed up. And what, what's the dad's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to have the cops come out here for this? I mean, I, I don't live in California. Yeah. Okay. I live in Florida. So our schools are completely wide open and people have the choice of, in school or uh, or online, mm. where I, I think California they don't have that choice. Yeah, so they have to. Yeah. They have to do this Zoom thing. And now, if you're not a parent, you don't really understand. And what I mean by that is, if you have a kid and you have a job, you still have to make sure you do your job. So who's gonna have the kid? Or if the kid's got to be home for a Zoom meeting, mm. you either got to pay somebody, which Somebody might not be able to do. And I just not to cut you off, but no, what is a no. Zoom meeting? What is a so, Zoom meeting? So because they're I'm under the impression that Zoom meeting is just class. That's right. The kid and his teacher. That's right. Okay. So, so they're there. He's supposed to be online in his class, and he was late three times mm -hmm. without an oh, excuse. Gotcha. So that is class now. So it's class. Okay. That that's considered what they're class. They're in school class yeah. <laughs> by so Zoom. Once, once they apply all the same rules to school rules, that's when it gets funky like that. Yeah. It gets real messed up yeah. and it gets real hairy. Okay. Yeah, and, the same thing. and then you know we gotta ask ourselves the reason. Why are they in this predicament? Mm -hmm. It's because we're going through COVID. Their state is probably locked down to the T. Um, at that point, the dad's got to be there and he's got to do his job, and they got to make sure the kids there doing you know his school work which if you guys have kids it's not always that easy to do and make sure they're on track um you know but it is what it is so i i, I mean listen if it was if it was a regular school and this kid did this and, and he didn't have excuses it's probably going to be a problem so they're probably going to try to pro uh, apply these rules so i'll give them the benefit of the doubt on it but i still think it's a little bit overboard yeah. i think uh, you know some exceptions need to be granted to, to the situation that we're in or that people are in you know, here in Florida, like I said, you know, if you don't go to school, then you're going to have some problems. Is it three times I and then you possibly get arrested? I, I guess. I mean, I haven't even looked up the state of Florida. So, you know, I, I don't remember this when I was growing up, but, I, you know, I wasn't sure more than three times either. I mean, now, there were days, I guess, I mean, where I 
think you know I went on vacation a couple times when I was younger, and we were off for like two or three days. Yeah. But it wasn't to this point now where they're like trying to come after people for something like this. Like, hey, listen, we're going on vacation. It is what it is. And, I don't uh, ever remember being arrested. I mean, I, I miss school a lot. <laughs> yeah. And I don't ever remember being arrested or even being even police even being even brought into the equation. It was yeah. always you're going to get suspended or we're yeah. going to kick you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why weren't you in school or something like that? But I never police. Come on, I mean, these are kids. Let the parents do it. I don't know. Exactly. Like, I don't know. Exactly. But at the same time, once they have once they they can't do it on a case, they can't do every case individually. Right. Like in other words, if they say we're going to apply all the same rules that we'd be as if you were actually physically in school. If there's a situation where it's kind of making an exception, they're going to either have to go through every single student that has this uh, issue and look it over, which is going to take a lot of time, or just say, look, even though it seems weird, all rules. And I think that's what they're going to do, because otherwise, oh, wow. every single day, people are trying to get excuses yeah. or, you know, a reason to, you know, not go or yeah. he, he was late or something like this. So they're like, look, rather than deal with all that, yeah. this is where we're going to handle this. Yeah. It's kind of, you know, it sucks, though. Yeah, yeah, so Dan Good, MK677 is available through Type Medical Center. It's Therapy of the Week. If you guys are just joining us, thank you guys for tuning in. All right, so way overboard, yes. So online classes were horrible. I did it with Peter here, obviously, when school released and they tried to bring him back and stuff. Um, so it did suck. So luckily, Peter is back in real school. Um, and it is, it's true. I mean, you know, you don't get the exact same experience from learning when you're doing this as a kid. So... I feel for you, April. I'm sorry that happened. Uh, hopefully she's back on track, or hopefully her school is open and you're good to go. All right. UFC fighter lives in van. This is pretty yeah. interesting, Reed. Yeah, I like stuff like this. Yeah, um, man. Yeah. Basically, one of the biggest UFC fighters in the world from Australia. Yep. Uh, he's a big-time fighter. He's not just a guy that says he's a fighter. You know, Jimmy makes, the Brute. Yeah, he makes money. He makes, you know, I think he made like 50 grand bonus, just a bonus AKZ, for his last AKZ, how fight. you doing? So, uh, yeah, he makes a ton of money, and he's living in a van because he hates to pay bills. Yep. Yep. He's got running water. He's got solar power, and that's just the way he likes to live his life. Cool. He, he's got his dog in the van with him. Just a simple guy. I mean, and he we makes talk, some money, too. Yeah, he's making money. He made 50 grand bonus, just, just yeah. bonus for his last yeah. fight. So anybody who makes 50 grand, I don't care what state you're in. Bonus, you go get an yeah, I don't care. Yeah. You can go get an apartment with 50 grand. It doesn't matter what state for you're sure. in easily. So, for I mean, sure. the fact that he's just choosing that, I mean, I wouldn't do that, but it's just... I like the fact that, you know, he's it's not just doing what everyone says he should be doing. Absolutely. He's probably saving a ton of money. And, saving again, he's a single money. guy. Just him, and, just him and his dog. That's all he cares about. He's just chilling. He drives around. Doesn't have to worry about anything, you know. So, yeah, I'll tell you. We were just talking about this a few weeks back about, the you know, the millionaire guy that was one of the richest guys in the world yep. that lived in a studio apartment or something yep. like that. Yep. Yep. I mean, this guy isn't one of the richest guys in the world. But it's a similar situation where Same you could have plenty of money to be able to, you know, Buy a car and have a house and have nice things and flaunt it. And you're living in a van with your dog. So, I mean, saving money. I just thought it was interesting. Okay. All right. So, Hulk Squad said he got his meds yesterday. Uh, and the debate for me is whether to take the Titan Potion or the Hercules. Both. So, Hercules Potion is the exact same thing. Or there's Titan Complete and there's Hercules Potion. All right. I do the complete and the Hercules. Yeah. I do half and half. So if I have a one ML syringe, like the thirty gauge one ML, I'll do half complete and half Hercules, yeah. and I'll do that on each side. So that way I'm getting. I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to do all complete on one muscle and all Hercules. So yeah. I could even break it up. Like yeah. that's what I do. I break it yeah. up like this. You know, um, it just depends. You know, when you're training too, right? Mm. So if you can optimally, if you have tight and complete, which is there are different components in those two injections, so you're getting way way different things. But if you're gonna you know, start your morning and you have Titan Complete, usually you take that in the morning, mm. right? To get your day in, you wanna boost the metabolism starting off right in the day, right? Get those branched chain amino acids in your body right away. Um, and then if you're gonna train, and people will train at different times. So if you're gonna train later that evening, let's say five or six when you're getting off work or whatever it is, mm. um, you can take the Hercules Potion like right before the workouts too. Um, or like Drew, hey, you know what? If you want to make some together and you want to do it like that, yeah, I mean, I do it some not all the time, but you, you can do you know, it like that just, too. As long as it's water based, you can mix yeah. your therapies. You can mix your, uh, you know, you can mix Titan Complete. You can mix, you can mix even mix glutathione. I, yeah, I do a glutathione I, with, with Titan Complete yeah, too. Yeah, it'll it'll, it'll sure. dilute it a little bit. Yeah, you know, so. yeah, it's good. It yeah. definitely is good. So there's different ways you can do things, but you're gonna love this Hercules potion before you go train. Definitely go do that. Okay, um, you know, and the difference is this. 
So, like I said, Titan completes more for weight loss, energy, boosting metabolism, nervous system, concentration, as far as that goes. Uh, more natural effect. No stimulants, no nothing like that. Where Hercules Potion is more of recovery, muscle pump, uh, more strenuous activity, um, as far as that goes. There's some liver function quality to it, and um, you know, some weight loss with the L-carnitine, but time complete for more, and you get that day going, and then Hercules Potion as far as recovery and the pump factor and your, and your workout or activities. Mm -hmm. We've got a Dave uh, answer, Dan, saying uh, it is. This is my second month, so Dave's on the second month. Oh, nice. nice. How you liking it? Yeah, how's it going, Dave? Or, or should I say, how you loving it? Yeah. And, and what, what's your effect on it, Dave? Because you know, people have these different effects for medications, right? Everything affects people in different ways, usually. Or some, it does for the masses, for most, it affects people, right? So with MK, per se, uh, some people can, can take it during the day. Some people can't take it during the day. They gotta take it at nighttime because mm -hmm. it, it just affects them. It makes them uh, more lethargically tired uh, feeling, yeah. Yeah. right? So it'll make you sleepy, right? Which is gonna be good for you. But some people, like I mean, I know like Jay Salias is a Titan athlete. I don't know. Do you take it during the day? I have taken it during the day. Uh, I noticed. I don't really notice the s sleep part of it, but I notice the appetite. But then again, I mean, this is another thing too. If as long as you're eating quality food. You yeah, don't have to water, worry about your appetite yeah, yeah. going up. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to take because I'm going to be eating all the time. Well, then just eat yeah. clean all the time. I eat yeah. clean all the time. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even, you know, I'm just doing it for myself. Like, yeah. So, I mean, it, like, you just, just eat clean food and you won't have to have that problem. Another thing, too, with, this, with the tiredness of it, I kind of got a little bit, but after about a week, mm -hmm. I didn't really get tired off of mm -hmm. it anymore. Mm -hmm. And I just like to time it on my food. Okay. So I like to time it where I know I'm going to need a big meal. Gotcha. I just got to find... That's smart. Yeah, just find it when you need a big meal, or maybe like a heavy heavy day, heavy back day, heavy leg day. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll take it in the morning on a heavy back leg day, because that way I'm going to be eating throughout the day enough yeah. to train at 6 p.m., get yeah. my meals in. So you just got to figure out how it works best for you. Some people just take it any given time. It doesn't do anything yep. except give them results. Yep. Other people take it. They're drowsy. Yep. Other people take it. They want to eat Twinkies and stuff all day long. You just got to figure out which way you could take it. Yep. But again, if you have hunger problems, eat. Take it after your last meal before bed. Right. That way you're sleeping and you're not really Exactly. Yeah. And it's helping raise the IGF one levels, which are good at nighttime too, and in yeah. the morning. So I mean, as a bodybuilder, guys, like bodybuilders, if you could have one drug out there, and everyone's had this topic when bodybuilder, if you could have one drug that's going to help you recover better, help you gain weight and be lean, and help you and help you eat, I mean, it's a no-brainer. So it's like literally, it's like that's what they came up with. A lot of times, people alternate. And uh, people may use uh, marijuana illegally. Yeah. A lot of bodybuilders may use marijuana illegally now. Um, in Florida, it is legal if you have yeah. your card, so you can get you know edibles Medical. or whatever you need yeah. medically, you know, yeah. so you could legally do it. But a lot of times, if you're in a state where marijuana is not legal, yeah. and you're and you're taking marijuana because you want to sleep, because you want to eat better, because you want to not stress to gain the weight, MK six seven seven will make you sleep. It'll make you eat better. Yeah. It'll make you gain lean Absolutely. mass. So Absolutely. it's like take something that is legal as opposed to something that is illegal. It's something that's going to help your body and give you basically the, not the same results, so to speak, but the same um, same side effects, yeah. same positive side effects. Absolutely. And GZ, well, give me one second. So, yeah, I agree with you 100% as far as that goes. MK677 is great for all those different things. And a lot of people want it. And we got another, we've got, uh, we've got a lot more therapies that are coming for you guys. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've definitely expanded out some of the different things that we're going to be doing. So peptide-wise, GHRP6, I think it's coming back. There's going to be some, some oh, big yeah. ones. I, oh, I got, I got, I'm working on some big things for you guys. All right, so NGZ, or NEZ, I'm sorry, NIZ, uh, I'm trying my best. Sorry, 92, was told to start AI, but I heard horror stories about it. So that's an aromatized inhibitor, which is an estrogen blocker. Um, what horror on, stories have you heard, and what AI were so, the horror stories yeah, about? Yeah, so he's on two. He's on two hundred milligrams a week, and his estrogen is at a hundred right now. But you have no side effects. Mm. Um, and debating if TRT is even right for me, even at a smaller dose, I have higher estradiol. Unfortunately, okay. So let, let's talk about this because we should definitely talk about this. And you know, there's an issue out there that's going around, and the problem is, is you've got some some wacko doctors out there, and I'll straight up say it, that are saying that. You don't need an aromatized inhibitor. They're bad for you. Um, you doesn't matter what your estradiol or estrogen level is. Uh, it's okay, and that's what it is. Well, that's completely false, and we know that aromatized inhibitors were made because of high estrogen levels in females because of breast cancer. 
and it's Breast Cancer Awareness uh, Month, so I mean, this goes right along with it. So preventative for this is what the first one aromatized inhibitor was Noveldex. It specifically hit the breast receptors to make sure estrogen levels were lowered. All right, and then came an astrazole, letrozole, aromacin, uh, all these different aromatized inhibitors that got stronger, stronger, and stronger. And they even have things now that, uh, that enhance the aromatized inhibitor to make it even stronger. There's reason because they're making these drugs because people are having higher estrogen levels, specifically females, that they need to treat them with. And breast cancer is on the rise. So at that food, point, these, these it, terribly your processed food sources, food your chemicals you're putting reasonable. on yourself. Yeah. I mean, so it, it's all out there. So to my point is this. When your estrogen is that high, you know, and you're at 100, so it's not really crazy, you know, depending on what lab you went to, the reference range changed. So if it's lab poor per se, if, if you're, you're above that number of 40, right, then, you know, you're, you're doubled right now. So you're saying that you're not getting any negative side effects. Now, negative side effects can be water retention, irritability, um, fat deposits, and those will form over time, and gynecomastia. So and when you're growing those tissues, and this happens over time, so you don't want that. Now the horror stories, you probably heard horror stories about that, about people crashing their estrogen levels. Yeah. Um, now we- And then you're- Yeah. I mean, God forbid you're in a relationship and yeah. that happens. So, you gotta, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna dry out really, so your joints are gonna ache really bad, you know, erections could be bad. There's a lot of different things. So you don't wanna crash your levels either, but at that point you wanna make sure that you're good to go. So if you convert, like you said, you said he converts at lower levels of dosages of testosterone too as well, then you might need an aromatized inhibitor. Some people are more sensitive to aromatization of testosterone and the estrogen. Yeah, I was, I was I'm, I'm one of those people I'm that one of those people about. too, man. Um, when I first started with my HRT with Titan, I'm only doing 200 milligrams. I do exactly what the doctor said, yeah. 200 milligrams a week. I don't do a thousand milligrams like bodybuilders yeah. do and all this stuff. You know, I, I have before but when I was an idiot, but um, now I just do 200, 200, what is it, 200, 210 milligrams, yeah. I think what it yeah. is, one, one, one ml a week. And yeah. um, my estrogen was, uh, was up just off of that. So yeah. my, I mean, and originally they had me on a nastrozole. Yeah. Um, and then now um, the doctor actually put me <coughs> to tamoxifen with the anastrozole. Yeah. Immediately once I did that, yeah. I don't take as much. I take like half of each dose like every other day. I, um, yeah. But once I did that, it was like immediately different. Yeah. So for all the years before when I was like, oh, anastrozole stronger, anastrozole or quote unquote arimidex, arimidex, yeah. or even letrozole, which is yeah. fumara, oh, wow. which is like yeah. the strongest of strong. suicide. Yeah. yeah. But then you feel like crap. Your joints hurt. You can't get an erection. And you just like you literally can get the flu because your immune system goes to crap on that stuff. Absolutely, it goes to crap on letrozole. But um, yeah. But I feel great on the tamoxifen yep. and letrozole. No type of uh, issues with libido. No type of issues with even breakouts, acne, oily skin. No, t none of that. That's so, a beautiful I mean, thing, man. It feels great. No type of puffy or sensitivity anywhere. Uh, I mean, everything is going well. Even my skin cleared up in my face. Not as oily. I used to be have a shiny nose all day long from the estrogen <laughs> being so high but I mean slowly over time this this, this stuff's going away and I'm yeah. like, but it is good sometimes you may need, you may need more it. than one yeah. and sometimes you may not need any it just it, you know everybody you everybody's different sometimes. you know we never know AIs I mean. dry the joints from what I've learned so AIs do dry, dry dry the joints at high doses as usually it might make it a little bit drier uh, higher estrogen is going to hold more whole water so I mean you, you want to pick the look of what you want but the whole the whole point of that is is, is Sambo is is you want to balance these hormones. It's all yeah. about balancing these hormones. A lot of people out there that are in this business per se or what we do in hormone replacement therapy, it's cookie cuttered every time, and they're not really looking at the blood work. It's it's one package for everybody. Like too high or too low. Too high or yeah. too low. There's never in the middle, and they never know. You know how should I do an upper dose? No, I mean you don't need to double the dosage on it. You might need to change some things up. Right. So that's where. Type medical center has taken over because we've done this for nine years. You know, we've got patients for nine years that have right. been with us, which is right. crazy. I mean, and Sharice were talking yeah, about Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the whole time. It's 10 nuts. years is coming up. It's the it's decade of 10 nuts. years coming it's up. Nuts. Yeah, it's good. You know, but a lot of times people talk about dry joints. Just to touch on that real quick. People yeah. always talk about dry joints yeah. and supplements or anything they'll give them dry joints. Yeah. I don't want to take that because it makes my joints dry. Right. If you lose weight, if you lose water, your joints might be dry. Yeah. If you eat, if you just eat healthy and go to the sauna every day and you know lower your carbs and drop a whole bunch of weight and you're yeah. lean and dry, your elbows may hurt. Yeah. It doesn't mean that 
sometimes your elbows or joints hurting isn't necessarily like, oh, like, would you rather have a little bit of tenderness in your elbow, or would you rather have a lump underneath your nipple oh, that yeah. has to be surgically removed? Yeah, no way. You know what I'm saying? So, no I mean, it, it, just because your elbows hurt, that's like a, uh, I mean, I yeah. mean, deal with it. It's like, you know, I mean, that might even be for part of the yeah, lean. Like, you know? every time I did a show, two weeks out, I could barely lift half the weight I would normally lift. Not because I'm not strong enough to, just because everything's so dry and yeah. lean, it's hurting. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'm in bad shape. No. It just means my body is literally needs some lubrication in order Absolutely. to feel better. Absolutely. And here's the thing. So when you start taking testosterone, let's say you don't take an aromatized inhibitor, you know, at that point, you're going to start converting. Like my man on here it was converting. And at that point, what's going to happen is, is well, it doesn't happen overnight where you get gynecomastia. It happens over time. Tissue grows. And that's what happens. And then one day you're like, oh, man, what's going on? Yeah. Plus, you're going to be, like, crying, like, or really be real sensitive to movies or... Yeah, you're watching YouTube frisky videos commercials about, a, about or, a reunion. Your face is wet. Then. Yeah, man, you know? Yeah. So, um, you know, and, and uh, so it, Sambo has another, another good question. And Sambo is a nurse practitioner, so he's a medical provider, too, as well. So he knows what he's talking about on uh, some light here. All right, so how do you <laughs> feel about using the angel in place of AS? So, all right, so Nandrolone, I, 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 don't then, think, I don't think it's a good, not, it's not a good solution. The reason why. And then you got to have prolactin issues, which is a whole exactly. other thing. So I mean, we're, is, we're talking about a NOR-19. Yeah, yeah, this is completely you know, different. And, and you know, I, I know some people out there, this is crazy. There's like the cults like out there, like I, I see on the internet, it's really crazy. And there's like all Nandrolone only, no testosterone, no aromatized inhibitor. Yeah. And man, I've seen a lot of people with, with Nandrolone, like you said, with the prolactin issues. Mm -hmm. Now, even when you start doing minimal doses, a lot of people do 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams a week. You know, when therapeutically, you know, for joints and stuff like that, 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams. But in, pl in place of an aromatized inhibitor, definitely not. And the reason is, is they could get the potential DECA. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Uh, and they're not going to be performing, which is no good. Anybody who's, like, kind of new to, like... Even if you do a one-in-one -one ratio... Yeah, even even if you even if you do a one, even if you do a double one, the reason I would think people would take Nandrolone while they're taking an Ashazol is just for the pain in their joints. Yeah. Why not just fix the pain in their joints? Yeah. Uh, you're basically pulling water out of your joints to put it back in with the Nandrolone. Mm -hmm. Nandrolone lubricates the joints. Yeah. There, there's even some doctors that prescribe it for people that have for joint sure. pain. For sure. So what they're gonna do is you're gonna take an AI, pull the water out of your joint, and then take a Nandrolone, put it right back into your joint. In the meantime, raising your prolactin levels, and now you're gonna have to take another drug yeah. like a a, a, Cabr yeah, a Dostanex or Roma something like that, or something yeah, like to that. lower that. And then it's like a whole, and all you're really doing is taking an androgen only for the pain. Absolutely. So you know, like I said, I think a therapeutic dose is androgen is awesome for some different things. Um, you know, it, it's substituted for you an want, AI. You want to help those joints, that TB500 yeah. and CJZ, will and knock that out, and then absolutely. you won't have, to, it'll be helping the problem rather than fixing it. Do a couple runs of that, and then you might not have those problems again. But Absolutely. If you keep loading it up with um, painkillers and lubrication, that problem will never be fixed. Yeah, you know, I, like I said, I think I think Nandrolone has its place in, in some mm. things, but I think that uh, as far as aromatized inhibitor, I just don't think it's a it's a good um, mm. good substitute. Another one out there I see a lot of people doing is Dim. Dim's not a good one either, and bounces estradiol up through the roof. I know it's supposed to help suppress a little bit of the estrogen mm. too, as well. But it definitely does not work on estradiol levels. Um, that's what we've seen through blood work, you know. We've had a lot of patients, obviously. We've had thousands of patients reoccurring monthly, you know, and this has been over a nine years span, over and over and over and over. So, I mean, we've seen all this blood work, and we've seen different people come in with some different therapies mm -hmm. or even some different regimens, you know, maybe they were prescribed or not prescribed, per se, and had to help people out in a lot of major ways because they were having a lot of issues. So the CJC uh, Imperolin, you know, that's a great one, too. So we were talking about MK677 today where it's an oral GHRH, and uh, CJC with IPA is a, is a injectable um, injectable GHRH. But the difference is between the two, like I said, with hunger. You know, that's the big one. And then you know, what I've seen in blood work-wise, I've seen MK677 spike IGF-1 levels a lot higher than I have on CJC and Imperon. Mm. And some people say, well, over time, over time, over time, because that pulse keeps hitting the pituitary. Yeah. But, you know, at that point, you know, I've definitely seen MK work quicker within the first 30 days and then, like, raise it, like, like at least 100 points on some people, usually. So that, that's mm -hmm. really good in, in IGF-1 levels. So, and that's going to help them out tremendously in a lot of different ways. Um, so, yeah, so that's really cool. Good conversation, guys. Sabo. Yeah. Sambo. Sambo, good conversation, dude. Good stuff. Um, all right. 
former 49, 15 years of life for rape. So Stubblefield, if you guys don't know who he was, he played on the uh, San Francisco the 49ers. Dana? Was it Dana Stubblefield? What was his name? Yeah. What was his name? Dana? Dana, yeah. Dana Stubblefield? Yeah. I think it was Dana. I want to know the situation, like the story, because, I mean. Yeah, it was Dana. Yeah. yeah. You know, sentence of 15 years, raping a woman at his home. How long ago was this? Uh, this was a couple years back, I think. Like so two, just now two years ago. Well, I, I think, you know, I had to go through the process, you know. But, yeah. 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 So at that point, it's went through, what, five years, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. using a firearm to rape her. And, and I mean, this, this is some pretty serious stuff. Uh, yeah, that's... You know, and, uh, you know, and the way that the, our environment oh is right God. now. It's the same. Yeah. It's, you know, some people raping, wow, developmentally disabled person. So... Now, when was he? This this happened five years ago. Yeah, and he's forty nine now, so he's about forty four. No, I just didn't know if it like how. how, how long it happened. Ago he it happened he played after a while he ago, right? He played yeah, he, I think he played in the early two thousands. Yeah, okay. nineteen ninety eight to two thousand. Yeah, mm -hmm. so at that point, you know, um, he, he was in. The, he was a Super Bowl, you know, champion on that team too, as well. So, uh, you know, this guy was a pretty big, pretty big deal as far as that goes. It was really good. I remember playing with this guy, you know, on Madden back in the day. So that's how far yeah. it goes back. Um, but you know, things like this happening is, is really troublesome. Um, you know, this guy has probably got millions of dollars or had a good amount of money, and, and to do this, uh, why? You know, it just it just doesn't. Yeah. It, it just it's crazy. So it's a big one out there. Some athletes are good. Some athletes are bad. You don't know how they are. If they play good on the court or on the field, they might be good there, but they might not be a good person off the court or field. Um, I just don't see, I understand. I mean, I've never had that type of money, you know, but I don't understand why people can just like not have a clue, just throw everything away. I mean, like for sure, for something like I this. Mean, if, like, you're like a, if you're like a top NFL player, you got enough money to take care of you, your family, the friend, everything. Why would you throw it away? And you not only that, I mean, not to not to make it an ego thing or this and that. No, for but sure. You're an NFL football player. You could pretty much, if you really need to have sex, yeah. you don't need to force it. You know, no. you could just say, I play football and someone, you know, exactly. it doesn't need Show to be Show your Super Bowl like, ring. Yeah, not not saying that, I mean, not saying that that has to. Uh, oh, no. You got those. You got the groupies out there. Yeah, sure. that's Come what I'm on, saying. Yeah, but he has, the, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, you're I literally mean. going to do something that you could normally do anyways at gunpoint to someone who's this like i don't i don't understand. yeah was he intoxicated i don't understand i mean I even know. if you're intoxicated regardless he still got to i mean that's i mean i've gotten up. drunk man you know and i'm not gonna go out there and rape a girl but with a firearm that's yeah but i want to know this that's just crazy it's not about sex it's you know about power. it's yeah, power yeah, I, yeah, I think yeah, I, and i think yeah. that that's what happens to a lot yeah, of athletes yeah, yeah. or people that get money real quick you know mm -hmm. that at that point they get this amount of power or they have this influence yeah. And they think they're above the law, or think they can do things and not get in trouble for them, or nobody's, you know, they're gonna side with them or whatever it is. It. It's just, you know, this is crazy. So this is just something I wanted to bring to That'd light. Like robbing you know? a bank when you have a bank at your house. I know. Like, what was the point in? <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. So, but yeah. So this is what it is. So, guys, be good people out there. Yeah. That's the point of this story. But the iPhone 12 is out. iPhone 12 is out. The iPhone 12 is coming iPhone out. iPhone 12 is out today in yeah. stores. Have you got your iPhone 12 Pro? Because I haven't got mine it? yet. Are you going to get it? I, so I've got six coming. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, I had to, I ordered them through my business account. But I, I might stop by a store tonight and just grab one. I don't know. If they have one. I don't even know because I didn't want to stand in line. I'm too busy for that stuff anymore. I used to stand outside the Apple store. Now, because of COVID, you can't even stand outside the Apple store. Yeah. You have to set a reservation. You might be able to get it. You might not. So I'm going to try to see if we go by at and I haven't right really here. heard too much. I mean, I heard the cameras are real good, but I haven't really oh. heard, like, anything, like, crazy, like, difference. So camera difference and the speed, I guess. I guess the processor on it is, mm -hmm. is really, really quick, lightning fast. Uh, it's got a new chip, and it's going to be 5G supported, too. So 5G! 5G. 5G. Is it causing cancer, or is it going to make our phones faster? We'll see what the first runaround goes. <laughs> <laughs> what color is that? Blue, green? Actually, I think Amanda was looking at me the other day at the visor. Is that blue, green? Like, yeah. It, it's yeah, true. Different right colors. Yeah, different yeah, so they got gold. They've got graphite. They've got silver. They've got this blue. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I got the gold one. I got the graphite. I got the silver. Because I know they have different colors for the different models. Yeah. Like the lower level. I like got the, the pro. So yeah. I got, yeah, I got six of the pros. Different. 
512 gigs, baby, each one of them. I store all the videos, all the pictures. I yeah, I got 256 now. I'm going to have to... So that's yeah. what we use as camera. So it's the best camera ever. And this yeah. one's supposed to be better than what we're on right now, so it's even better. That's good. So how much better can we get now? The reviews I have read on this say that Apple has done something serious as far as this this, this smartphone. Yeah, I saw. I think so, I may have saw that one article, I'm but I haven't heard excited. any people saying that they... The only person I know that grabbed one that had to tell me today, that's the text message you sent me, was Antonio. Big oh, shout out to Antonio. Tony probably, so I just got my hey, iPhone 12 Pro. This, this thing is so fast. Antonio is the app. He is the reason why I originally <laughs> switched to Apple. I was the biggest Apple hater for like 10 like, years. My bro. wallpaper used to be the Android guy pissing on the Apple. Uh, Tony, <laughs> Antonio was the one that literally got me to switch over. He's like an Apple, like he can tell you anything. <laughs> He's probably had it for like five months. So big, big, big shout out to iPhone, yeah. iPhone 12. We're going to have these bad boys these days. Hopefully this thing is all they are making it well, out to be. How did he say it was though? He said, he it, said was, it was awesome. He said it was, he said it was, he said it was super fast. That was his comment to me. Super fast. So, so I, I can't wait. We, we will see. How much faster is um, these phones? <laughs> I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Better night mode, uh, yeah. photo lens, oh, zoom better. You know, nice. Anytime nice. you zoom with anything, yes. it's grainy no matter yes. how much. Right. Yes. Yeah. With boosts and low light the night selfies. Mode be huge too. Photos taken in the evening. Oh, yeah. So we will see. We're going to take some pictures and videos. You guys will see it firsthand. Good. So hopefully, you guys are getting your iPhone 12. If you guys like iPhones, they're probably the best thing out there. Um, definitely smartphone wise, definitely the easiest yeah. and everything. So, you guys get you one, hopefully. All right, Titan events coming next week, Halloween, Saturday, mid Florida. Oh, yeah, mid Florida, mid Florida. So, we're gonna do a costume contest too. So, if you guys are a part of this live right now, I'm gonna announce it Monday costume contest. The winner that sends in the best photo of their costume is gonna get a free amino therapy and free visit all the way through it's all paid for That's so big. they'll get to try one for free they'll have their visit and then at that point if they want to do therapies any different therapies afterwards they're more entitled than they can to free consultation free, consultation, free therapy for amino acids and vitamins i'm going to take care of it so halloween costume contest you guys can tag us in your pictures um and we will pick whoever the winner is tag tight medical center um, and show your best costume. It's going to be a good one. We're also going to have a costume contest at the show. Yep. At the show, the Mid Florida show is going to be a costume yep. contest before the show happens, before the night show. Yep. And then that night, we are heading to Tampa. Mansion, Mansion Party, co a big costume contest. Oh, yeah. A $5,000 costume contest oh, at the Mansion. It's going to be crazy. I can't Cuban wait. Cuban Club, baby. Ebor, that's where we're going to be at. We got the Mid Florida Classic on Saturday during the day. We're going to hit the night show for an hour or two, and then we are back in the tight limo and back to Tampa for this huge Vampire's Ball at the Cuban Club. Big shout out to Pied Piper, my man doing the big things and setting this up for us. Uh, tight Medical Center is obviously a sponsor, and we're going to be the judges in this costume contest, which is going to be really, really it's cool. Be awesome. Can't wait. It's going to be really cool. Can't I can't wait to dress up, too. I know. I've never dressed dressing up so. So we got we're gonna get yeah. you a kick ass costume. Gotta dress up, we gotta dress fun, up. Man. We gotta do some cool cool, cool stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I can't wait. Um, the next thing after that, 11 14, November 14th, Cars and Couture. That is a great Gatsby theme, which if you don't know what that is, it's like a 20s theme, and it is going to be at an awesome mansion in St. Pete. So I'm excited about that. So it's gonna be a fashion show. It's gonna be exotic cars. Titan fleet or cars are going to be out there. We're going to be out there. It's going to be a heck of a night. I'm really excited for that, too. Big shout out to Donna Crowley and Lux Fashion Group putting that on. Uh, after that, we do have some things in December we're going to do, but we haven't locked them down exactly to a T yet, so we don't want to announce them. But January 2021. Can't believe it. 2020. Let's just get the hell out of 2020. We're done with 2020, 2020, man. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, you know, so 2021, the January 10th, we have, um, we got Festivals of Speed, excuse me, in St. Petersburg, more Illinois cars. Park. More cars. Yep. More, more exotic cars. It's really, really cool. We always get a, a we've been a tile spot for that for like two, three years. That's, I love that car. It's so been probably, awesome, the man. The location's perfect. It's in a park yep. outside. St. Pete, so downtown. The sun is hitting off the cars. It looks real nice. Yep. It's, it's on grass. Yep. So it's not, you know, most car shows are just on the pavement. Yep. It's real hot on the pavement, yeah. too. One thing about St. Pete, when you do go to a car show where it's on the grass, near the water, open like that, it's more breezy, so you get the sun, it's not too hot. 
cars everywhere. The tight nets will be out there. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be music. A good time it's gonna be good. for sure. Nice uh, cars too. Then the twenty fourth, nice. we head to Orlando for Festival of Speed at the Ritz Carlton. So Orlando, Orlando. <laughs> we, we always go out to Orlando, man. You know, I mean, it's it's so close to us. That's yeah. why it's like you know, might as well. There's a lot of things going on in Orlando and Tampa, and they'll come up. Yeah, it's you know? not bad. About an hour. And we always have a good time when we're out there. Yeah. yeah, we always have a good time. Some always have a good time. The Grand High, it's always like the, oh, yeah. always a good place For to stay sure. At. For and sure. the Rosen Plaza is where the show is going to be at. Yep. Mid-Florida will be at the Rosen Plaza. That's the yep. same show where uh, Deke had his Florida State show as well. Yep. It's a good show, good venue. So it's close so to the hotel, close to everything. So. It's going to be a good time. So come out and please join us, guys, all right? Um, yeah, man, it's, it's been a good, tight lifestyle. Always a good, tight lifestyle. I'm sure he's going to rush off to get iPhone. Oh yeah, I'm gonna twelve. Do, I have to do something here. Send I'm me pictures. Excited. I want to see what it look like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put them side by side. I'm gonna have to buy a charger and AirPods because they don't come with them. We should do a video where we compare them, put the iPhone 11 and the 12 side by side and everything. And we should definitely. And do we that. can really, really tell, and then send it to somebody. And say which one is the twelve and which one's the eleven. If they pick the eleven, I'm not getting it. I don't even know if they're the same size. I gotta what check do that. Like you know, lengthwise and widthwise and stuff like that. I don't know. No, but I mean like if you do a video, do oh, a no, video for side sure. by side, send it to me and I'll see if I can tell which one's the twelve and the eleven. Okay. If I can't tell, then I'm not getting the twelve. All right, so you heard so it. We'll see. We'll, we'll see we'll see if uh it, Apple has brought out the truth yeah. or not. We shall see. My crappy eyes. If you guys are on <laughs> Facebook, please share this, hit the share button. If you guys are on Instagram, at tag some people. Guys, YouTube, hit subscribe, the all notification bell so you guys get all the updates from all our great videos and everything we have. Remember, we service nationwide for their therapies, blood work, anything tight medical center you guys can do. All right, I think that's about it. That's about it. We'll be right back here next week on Friday for Titan Lifestyle. Also, check out John on Tuesday, Titan Talk. That's at 6 p.m. And also, check out the ABC, ABC show. Yeah. C-Sales by C-Sales. C <laughs> ABC <laughs> show <laughs> on Sunday at 11 a.m. Yeah, buddy. And don't forget the podcast, guys. You can listen to us training or driving or whatever you're doing. Yes. You don't got to look at our ugly mugs, but you guys can definitely listen to the great stuff that we got to talk about. So we'll see you guys next Friday. Time Lifestyle with Big Drew, 2 p.m. And we might be in Orlando. Who knows? Yeah, we might be at the, might be poolside, might be a waterfall in the background. You Who never knows? know where we're going to pop up. You never know. But we're sun. We love the sun. Oh, we yeah. love the fun. Yes. So we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and be yes. happy. Later, guys.